when, when you're on tour, uh, is there a lot of uh, thoughts about uh, air protection? Or yeah, you know what, especially you? in the last year, I've really been um, conscious about my ears. Um, uh, so I, what I do now, I wear my earplugs all the time on the airplane for sure. Mm. Um, because I went to a doctor and he was saying, you know, the up and down from an airplane, that does just as much uh, to your eardrums as uh, the, the, the air pressure from, from speakers. So now I wear earplugs on the plane. I wear earplugs sometimes walking down the street when it's really loud um, because I'm doing everything possible now just to kind of like rest my ears. Um, I find that sometimes when I'm in a really loud and, and noisy club that maybe the sound system is a little harsh my ears really are tired the next day to where even the sound of cars driving along kind of uh, sound louder or, or sound uncomfortable so I, I find that uh, especially this year I've really been conscious and when wearing earplugs custom earplugs uh, a lot and uh, in the clubs I've been wearing them as well uh, when I walk into the club I have my earplugs on um, I find that when I'm playing those, a lot of times I'll take them out because I need to feel. But then as soon as I'm done playing, I put the earplugs back in. Yeah. We were talking about your sound engineer being yeah, from the old school generation. Yeah. Is, there, is there a lot of difference uh, between that old school and the, yeah, the new generation? Oh yeah, for sure. Like the, the new generation will just, uh, um, and I'm not knocking it because the technology is there and I embrace modern technology. But the new generation will go and get a plug-in and plop a, a, a dance mastering plug-in on the master and be like, okay, it's mastered. Mm. You know, but uh, the old school, they're the ones that design these plug-ins. They're the ones that know like, okay, you got to roll the kick off at 50 hertz uh, and then boost the, 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 the bass line at, at 75 hertz or roll a kick drum at 30 hertz if you want to boost uh, the, you know, the, the bass line at 150. You know, they, they understand more of the mathematics, why things sound the way that it, they do. Um, I know a lot of times I'll be in there and I'll be in, I'll be in front of the computer and I'll be like, I'll turn to my engineer and be like, why can't I get this uh, lead to, you know, sound bigger and stronger? And he'll, you know, he'll be like, try this, roll the kick drum here or lower the kick drum or, or let's try that. And it'll be like, hey, yeah, it worked, you know, uh, um, whereas the new school guys will just like throw a compressor on it and just be like, hey, yeah, works. So I try and get like a, a more organic sound um, out of the uh, out of the machines. <laughs> yeah, you're in, in, in the in the dance scene for quite some time now, but yeah, um, yeah. You're, I'm not saying that you're old school, but <laughs> you're uh, yeah, you, you started earlier than some people that are here now. But how, how do you see the, the the whole dance scene? Is the direction it's going at this moment? Is what do you feel about that? Well, I think that we're at a crossroads right now. Um, a lot of guys are going more pop. Um, and then a lot of guys are like saying, you know what, I'm, I'm going to go more underground. And I think that um, that's kind of what's going on right now, but you've got guys just kind of like splintering. Um, you know, I think the pop thing is fine. Uh, I have nothing against that. But when I was uh, starting, when, or when I was coming up, I was doing pop remixes and I got really burnt out on it. I hated it after a while. I hated dealing with the, the politics of pop music. So, you know, I, I don't want to go in that direction. And I warn a lot of guys, I'm like, listen, it's a dark road. Pop, you know, dealing with the pop scene is very dark. There's a lot of, you know, dark stuff there. So I, I th I'm very happy. I'm kind of like staying consistent, you know, maybe even going a little bit more towards the clubby sound um, and, and uh, I think doing the pop thing is fine. Uh, it's good for the scene, for sure. It adds exposure. You know, there's, there's David Goethe on MTV all the time, and, and you know, that, it can only be a good thing for the scene um, because uh, it opens up doors for other people. You know, it's just like Tiesto, what Tiesto did, he opened up a lot of doors. And before him, Paul Oakenfold opened up a lot of doors, you know. Um, so I, I think it's, it's definitely not a bad thing, but uh, I think we're at a point where artists are kind of splintering, trying to figure out, do they want to go left or go right? Mm. And which direction are you heading? Yeah, I'm definitely moment? more leaning more towards the left. You know, I, I love the clubs. 
Um, I don't think I want to do like an Armin only type show. Um, you know, I think I'd rather do more like the club shows and, and, and really kind of like keep exploring this, uh, this sound that, that I've kind of been known for. Yeah. Um, earlier on you were talking about that you've succeeded all your dreams and even beyond that. But yeah. What are your dreams at this moment besides music? Wow, that's the thing. It's like every time I dream, they're just like my dreams are down here. My real life is up here. So uh, I, I dream about tracks and collaborations and, and ideal things like, you know, things that I want to do artistically in the future. Um, that kind of really gets me excited now is just kind of artistic uh, dreams as opposed to dreams of oh I want to be you know you know uh, want to be the president or want to be uh, you know I don't have uh, thoughts like that I just I have thoughts about creatively um, different uh, projects maybe more family related thoughts you have as no well. it, everything is it's music I mean I, I dedicated my life to music this is who I am I'm I'm gonna be doing this for uh, forever so that's uh, that's what's so cool is my family really understands that and, and even my, like I said my father who we're not sure how much longer he'll be around he really understands and, and is proud of the fact that it's like music is my life I've dedicated my life to music and, uh, and, and been fortunate very lucky um, to, to be embraced the, the way that I have. Okay. Well, Thank you very much. Oh well thank you guys.